So, hey guys, um, sorry for the late upload, um, yeah, I was, like, I pulled off a 24-hour day, and I fell asleep for, like, another 12 hours, yeah, it was pretty, it was, it was pretty bad, um, but yeah, um, so here's a quick, uh, event rundown. So, the event is actually for Kushina Uzumaki, she is a decent card, I mean, I'm not saying that she's bad, but neither is she really, really good. Now, the reason for that being is simply because of the fact she doesn't have that many items at the moment, um, that may change in the future, so, I mean, she could go from now, um, which, what I'm guessing is going to be her max, going to be 1.5 million, uh, up to maybe 2 or 3 million later on. Now, the thing about her is that she has a lot of different skins. Um, so, originally, all you had to do was to train her up to, um, what do you call it, to this, to um, to her Kushino Uzumaki form, like this. But, um, later on, you had to train her up to Wine Kushino Uzumaki and, um, no, to Kimono um, Kushino Uzumaki. Now, if you get her to Bronze, you only get Big Toad Kichi times 10, Refining Back times 20, and Seal Stone times 50, which isn't that bad of a reward if you think about the Seal Stones. I mean, those are rather rare. Um, but now if you get her to Silver, you get Kushina's Hairpin, which is actually uh, exclusive equipment for her. Um, if you get her to Gold, you get a skin, and you get the Tier 3 Refining Material for the Kushina's Hairpin. Um, and if you get her to Diamond, you get 200 Will of Fire, which is actually a rather good reward if you think about it, seeing as you have to spend 200 Will of Fire to get her. Um, it would just really help out to have 200 Will of Fire extra whenever her event comes over, if you have her Diamond. Um, if, say, you want to get Naruto or Kakashi up to um, Diamond, uh, you get some Will of Fire back since you get the exact amount that you put into her. Anything after that's just profit. Um, now, Kindness Kushina, that's the skin that comes with it. Um, it's really a support skin, uh, simply because it's, it heals you and it dispels all bleeding, poison, firing, damage, attributes, decreased, seal, silence, fear, um, seal fury, weakness. It just, like, unseals everything, like, makes you better, basically. Um, but apart from that, it doesn't do much. It doesn't have any, um, HOT healing over time or anything else like that. Now, um, there's new skills for her, which is called the Active Adamantite Prism Wall, which deals ninjas to damage to all enemies and restrain, cannot release skill, restrain chakra, one enemy for one for ten rounds. Now, keep in mind, this is for one enemy, um, not for just, uh, you know, all of the enemies. So, I mean, it's a, it's a rather good skill because it does it for ten rounds, um, but it's not for every single enemy. That's what you have to keep in mind. Now, it's a level 105 skill, which is Taijutsu Uzumaki and Uzumaki Kushina. So, it's uh, 2 Taijutsu, um, 3 Uzumaki, and 2 Uzumaki Kushina. Now, there's another passive for her, which is called Dead Demon Consuming Seal Kushina. And the effect is randomly deal dam deadly damage to one enemy after died. So, after the card dies, um, it'll deal like an extreme amount of damage, I'm assuming, to any one random enemy. After equip, increase HP 12,500 plus 935 per level, which is quite a lot if you think about it once you get to like level 95. Um, there's tenacity, um, 45 plus 0.5 per level. Tenacity is always good. Uh, ninjutsu defense, uh, 6,350 plus 865 per level. Once again, that's a fair decent amount per level if you get to level like 96, 95. And it's a level 105 skill, so you have to have um, 3 Uzumaki and 4 Uzumaki Kushina bloodlines. Now, the Kushina's hairpin and exclusive equipment enhances HP, ninjutsu attack, and ninjutsu defense for any ninja who wears it. It increases extra 40,000 HP, 25,000 H ninjutsu attack, and 20,000 ninjutsu defense, so it's exclusive ninja Kushina. Now, um, you need Will of Fire to upgrade it, but once again, this is a tier 4 item, and those are fairly, fairly good whenever it comes to them being uh, um, powerful. So, I mean, it gives you HP, Ninjutsu attack, and Ninjutsu defense. So, if you already have a at Gold or Diamond, uh, that would just be nice to have, basically. Uh, Kushina's Apron. Now, to get this item, you have to get at least uh, 10k consumption. And uh, the reason for that being is because it's a consumption-only reward. 
Uh, so exclusive equipment enhances HP for any ninja who wears it, increases extra 67 h 67,800 HP, 58,900 HP, I mean ninjutsu attack, and 135 tenacity. To its exclusive ninja, uh, Kushina casts recovery elimination over the unique skills, um, regenerate HP for all teammates. So this is what actually gives her an HOT. So I mean, if you can get this combined with her um, Kushina healing skin, uh, Kushina kindness skin, uh, she could be a rather good medic, um, especially when compared to Sakura. Uh, but I, you know, it kind of depends because Sakura does have more benefits, but. Um, uh, when you pair up with the Naruto or Minato, if you happen to have the fourth Okage, um, they do get bonuses. So, I mean, that's good. You also need a Will of Fire to upgrade this. Now, there's a Red Hair Collection event, which in, you can get 30 Red Hairs, which is um, just basically like puppet boxes. And you can get one of the following items. You can get um, Toad Kichi, Toad Ryu, Big Tadpole, Tadpole. You can get Kushina... Um, childhood fragments and Uzumaki kimono. Um, you can get um some of those uh basically thirty per day. Um, there's also continuous consumption events. Um, that means continuous re uh, recharge basically. Uh, so if you recharge for three days, you get um Uzumaki kimono times two hundred. And keep in mind that you need uh one hundred Uzumaki kimono every time you upgrade um Kushina up up to her um final purple card form. So, I mean, it, it could be useful. Now, accumulative recharge for gift deck, for XP gift pack. Um, if, if you recharge more than 500 gold every day, you get to H times 15. Um, if you recharge uh, 220 gold, you get one more Sengan Naruto. Um, for a gold 10 draw, you're going to get a Kushina Childhood from the um, daily first gold 10 draw. And from the gold draw, um, just a normal one, you get a Toad Sage, which isn't bad, but it's not that good. Now for daily recharge, um, there's not much I can say here. I mean, the best reward, um, in my eyes at least, is that you get a lot of seal stones. The higher up you go, I mean, when you max out at ten thousand seal stones, I mean at ten thousand gold, you get right around uh, fifteen thousand seal stones. Uh, just to you know, oh no, not fifteen thousand, like one thousand five hundred seal stones just to seal whatever tilt beast, and that's. Rather helpful when you're trying to see all of your tilt beast to perfectly. Um, and you also get a lot of rare ore. Um, at 10,000 gold, you get um, 10,000 rare ore. And rare ore is rare. So, I mean, there is that. Um, I wouldn't... I'm not going to recharge during this event. Uh, personally, I'm actually just going to wait. Um, saving stamina and gold until the next um, either Naruto event. If it has 50k... 50K a gold consumption reward for the what do you call it for his skin not his skin for his passive the um shadow clone passive or i'm gonna wait um until there's a another tobirama event and just get tobirama as a diamond or gold whichever it is during that event so i mean apart from like 1000 consumption that i already did uh to upgrade my items i'm not gonna do any more now um the consumption rewards aren't that good. I mean, at 10,000, you get all of the items for Kushina. Uh, but you have to get 20,000 if you want to get her active and passive, respectively. So for 12,000, it's for her active. And for 20,000, it's her um, passive. So, um, yeah, it's not much else to this um, event. Uh, that's about it, actually. So, yeah, um, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you don't, I appreciate what, I, pre I appreciate you watching, and I'm sorry for the late video, you know, just really, really tired. So, yeah, um, I'll sh give you guys a showcase for Chojiro tomorrow, he's a rather good card, and I'm excited to show you guys what he can do. So, yeah, bye.